speed edit comes with a selection of macros that have already been set up using a scripting language and you can access these through the tool shed. The tool shed can be brought up either by hitting F9 on the keyboard or by going to the window pop-up and selecting tool shed. Now within the tool shed you'll see we have several different uh, categories. We have presets, DVEs, markers, video, and wizards. So let's start with presets. Presets have two sections, the default splines and the user splines. So these are the default presets that come with SpeedEdit, and they allow you to accomplish a variety of different effects on your video. Things like uh, turning your video to black and white. If I select the video, I select the black and white basic uh, script, and I hit perform, my video now is black and white. I'm going to control Z to undo that. So you have many, many different filters in here giving you different effects, sepia tone, warm, cool, all those things. You have some things that are transitional, like psycho in and psycho out actually will flip the video in and out. So we go ahead and perform that and you can see on the way out I've got this crazy flipping action. Control Z to get rid of that as well. Uh, now we also have the ability to set up quad images and if I wanted to do that I would stack four images up on top of each other in the timeline here and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of their audio I'm gonna hold down control select all of the audio and hit delete and now I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say I want to collapse the empty tracks and that'll go ahead and collapse everything down as close as it can get let's go ahead and trim these up I'm just gonna hit out point select this out point select this out point so now they're all the same size and we've got four layers of video that we can deal with here so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on overlay for every one of the layers or actually just the, the top three layers and we can see all the way through now and now we're ready to go ahead and apply these presets so on the top one I'll take bottom left and perform and then this one we'll take bottom right and perform this one top left and perform this one bottom right and perform and you can see here that it sets up a perfect quad of video for us with our four different layers you'll also find some video effects labeled video that allow you to do things like fade your video in over one second fade your video out over one second and change the quality of the video from low to medium to high and the quality of the video can be set inside of the control tree and we've got our layer settings up here and right at the top we've got the scaling quality and it defaults to medium so you can set this to high to get better quality out of your video especially if you're trying to scale it and um, keyframe it across the screen and you're getting more ray patterns and things like that uh, you will get better quality and again uh, whenever you want to get the best quality possible you can use image super sampling but that's probably not going to play back in real time it's going to require a render but it will give you the best possible quality now there are a lot of other controls in here under layer settings and uh, also under layer fading you have a lot of controls and then down through all of the other variables position rotation sizing cropping colored borders edges of video when you shrink it down and make picture in picture we have shadows and blurring our live matte keying and then we have three different types of color correction and our standard chroma keyer and luma keyer now you also have the ability to create your own splines or your own presets inside of speed edit and you go to user splines and let's go ahead and do something to a piece of video we're going to start with this piece of video and let's say we're going to make it fly across the screen i'm going to go ahead and shrink it down and we're going to start out over here and let's go Q to get to the first frame create a keyframe let's hit W and now let's just fly straight across the screen here and we can go ahead and preview that we'll come back to the beginning and we'll hit spacebar we can see our video flying right across the screen that's what we were looking for but now I can create that as a preset so I'm going to go ahead with the video selected. I'm going to say I want to make a new preset and we're going to call it pick in pick flyby. And if I want to apply that to another video, I simply select it and I hit perform. And now I've got the same motion happening here. So I'm going to have another piece of video coming across the screen and you may notice that this piece of video is a little bit shorter so it did apply the entire motion it just did it over this time duration instead of the duration of this clip so it's actually flying a little bit faster in the shorter clip 
but Speed Edit is intelligent enough to make those adjustments for you. Now, you can make a preset for just about any attribute of a clip, and then once you make a preset, you can open it up, and you can choose what attributes you want to actually be active. So even though I could be doing 10 different things to a clip, I can make a preset out of it. I can choose only one or two things that I want to be applied to the new clips when I use that preset. And you can drill down, and there is a lot of control inside each one of these menus that you open up that allow you to select what you want to be applied to the new clip when you perform this script on a new clip. Now, we also, underneath that, we have some pre-made scripts again for working with DVEs, and we can say we want to add DVEs. Now, we're just adding crossfades, basically, and again, I can add it to the whole project. Let me go ahead and just grab a few more pieces of video and throw them into my current project here, so we've got something to play with. And so now I've got some video, and I can say, go ahead and add it uh, over the entire project. Let's see the whole project down here. And it'll go ahead and put crossfades in there for me. We can, of course, adjust the duration of those crossfades or remove those crossfades as well. Now, we also have an area for working with markers. We haven't talked a lot about markers. And there are two ways to make markers inside of Speed Edit. We do this on the timeline. And if you don't have any clips selected, and you position the playhead where you want a marker and you hit the M key, it's going to create a marker inside of the project. And this is associated with the project. Now, you do have the ability to double click on the little flag down here and you can give it a name. You can also double click on the flag and you can click on the color swatch to choose what color you want the marker to be. And of course, it's giving you a time readout of where that is. And then you can see that you've got the title on there. Now, you can go through and make as many of these throughout the project as you want. You can also make markers within the project where you want your chapter points to be in your DVD, and then export that marker information as chapter information to be used in uh, DVD authoring packages. Now, we also have the ability to place markers directly on a clip. So I'm going to right click and say I want to remove all the project markers, they're gone. And if I click on the clip and I position the playhead and I hit M, it puts a marker on the clip and that's associated with the clip from that point on. So that way I can mark a specific event happening in a clip and no matter where I move that clip, I know where that voiceover is going to start or where that title needs to come in or whatever the action is I want to apply. We can also quantize the markers. We can use the markers to um, denote the beat of the music. Let's go ahead and uh, remove all clip markers and I can select the music here and then as this clip plays, every time I hit M, it's going to throw down a marker, and again, if I did this to the beat of the music, then I would have markers right on the beat to create edits. Now, I might not get it exactly right, so we do have some tools for quantizing the markers to straighten them up and get them to be uniform spaces in between them. We could also say we want to make razor cuts at the markers to go ahead and cut this clip up. And we have the ability to remove and repeat markers as well. Now, we also have some video scripts in here that allow us to do some things. Matching colors allows you to select one clip and to learn the color pattern from that clip and then come to another clip and apply that color correction to that other clip. So if I have several clips that were all shot with the same camera and I color correct one of them, I can learn that color correction and apply it to multiple clips. One of my favorites is set lengths, and set lengths would allow us to uh, determine how long we need a video piece or several video pieces to be in order to fit a certain area. For instance, what if I'm working with an audio clip? I'm going to go ahead and grab some audio and throw it in here. And then I have several stills that I want to be able to work with. Go ahead and grab these stills, and we'll go ahead and bring them in. And I want to figure out how long I have to make each still in order to fill the entire piece of music. Well, with this script, I can simply click on the piece of music and say, grab the duration, and it figures out how long the music is, and we go, great. Now let's go ahead and select all the clips, and let's say we want to set the total length to this for the selected clips, and now the clips perfectly match the piece of music for me.